doing these one at a time actually made this more difficult for you, not less difficult. So your equation up here could become a squared minus 8a minus b squared. Okay. So what's the quadratic formula say? So or your discriminant that you were just looking at? Sixty four. Sixty four. Oh. It's going to be plus four base squared. Let's see what negative would be. Okay. So, we want this to be an integer. Yeah. So. So any of the, well, b it could be an odd number, but you, this isn't going to add up to any odd square. Why? Because you have two even numbers. Okay. Is that, can you simplify it here? Well, I can say this is 2 times the square root of, so take a 4 out of that, it's 16 plus b squared. Okay. Good. Now we're cooking with butter. So. So what can B be? Or what, what do you have to have be true now? Oh, now I have two squares. And I need them to add to be a square. Okay. So what's an example of B? What's a B that can make this a square? Oh, B is 3. And okay. this is 16 plus 9 is 25. Yeah. Are there any others? B is zero. B is zero. Are there any others? Well, B is... Well... So, so B is... B has to be an integer or something. B has to be an integer, yeah. I guess this sort of boils down to the Pythagorean theorem now. Sort of, yeah. There's a number theory part of it that's important. So what what else can B be, be? All right. So 16 plus 9 worked. Yeah, 16 plus 0 works. Mm -hmm. There's six, 16 plus there's 64 does not work. See, so squares spread out. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. So the difference is, I actually start with 0. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. They get farther apart as the numbers get bigger. 11. The next one's going to be 49. 64, 81. Okay, so the difference there is 13, and 15, and 17. So you have b squared plus 16. And your thing has to be a perfect square. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you found zero word up to there. So you need other squares that are 16 away? You found three words because this. But to find a square that's 16 away from another square, which would have to be true, right? Yeah. But there seem to be all odd numbers away from each other. Well, consecutive ones are odd numbers yeah. away. 4 and 16 are 12 away. 9 and 25 are 16 away. Okay. So what, what, but what else, what more importantly than the consecutive ones being odd away? What's happening to the squares? They're spreading apart. Okay. So, for example, is there a square, a million is a thousand square, right? Yeah. Is there a square 16 away from a million? There probably isn't. Because Why not? you're bigger than 16 here. Right, the squares are already more than 16 away from each other. Consecutive ones are more than 16 away right there. So, my suspicion is that there's not going to be any more. Because the squares are going to get too spread apart. Yeah. They start spreading apart. Okay. Consecutive ones are more than 16 away here. 
Now you go to two away from each other. Well, they're they're well, they're sixteen away right here. Yeah. Three away from each other, they'll be odd again. So that doesn't work. Well, it did because you made this odd that difference. Mm. But but anyway, so you you have found all of them. It turns out it's a tough problem. Yeah. It's a tough problem, but you had all the tools to do it. So, good job.